Hello everyone, my name is Casey Conrad and I work as an analyst at Altus Power in Stanford, Connecticut. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what a day looks like in the life of an analyst. The first thing I do when I wake up is get out of bed, go brush my teeth, take a shower, and then head downstairs where I usually get a tall glass of water, drink that, make sure to hydrate, grab a bagel, um, and head off to the office. I take the train to my office. It's called the Metro North train schedule. And I have about a 30 minute commute in, uh, and then I hop off and walk to my office. It's about a 10 minute walk. Um, and then I arrive at my office. My office is situated right on the water in Stanford, Connecticut, which is super nice. So I always get a view of day-to-day -day life uh, in the harbor. My main tasks from day to day typically start off with checking emails, seeing what I got for the day. And then from there, um, I basically start looking at potential solar energy assets. So that can be you know, a solar farm in the middle of California. It can be rooftop solar in say New York City or Florida. What I like most about my work really is knowing that I'm helping promote the adoption of solar energy, not just in my home state of California or the state I'm working in, in Connecticut, but really across the whole US. I stay focused and productive during the work day, not thanks to coffee or tea, but really just being focused on my work. I really am enjoying what I'm doing, but knowing that I'm helping kind of transition the US electrical grid kind of keeps me focused and keeps me motivated to try to create a more sustainable future, you know, one specific area at a time. My work specifically in my company oftentimes can collaborate with other companies that are in the space or more specifically, we usually partner with people that own existing solar assets. The last thing I do when I leave my job is typically make sure I finished all the tasks I did for that day and make sure I'm well set up for the next day and any tasks I have coming up. And then from there, I will take the exact same route that I uh, took while coming in. So I'll head over to the Stanford train station, about a 10, or seven minute walk, depending on how late I am to the train, hop on the train and head back towards New York City. Hop off and then walk back to uh, my apartment. After work, um, I typically like to work out if I can. So whether that's going for a run or uh, if I'm super lucky, I'm able to go practice with the local water polo team. Maybe once or twice a week, I'll head over to the big pool and swim laps, warm up my legs, and uh, play water polo with uh, a bunch of, of teammates. Once I'm finished working out, I'll typically unwind, either make dinner or order dinner, and then usually watch maybe an episode of TV or read a little bit of a book or maybe listen to a podcast as I do on the train, and then eventually brush my teeth and head to bed and get ready for the next work day. And that was a day in the life of an energy expert. If you want to watch more energy experts, you can click on the thumbnails below, or you can check out our channel for more educational content.